I'm going to start this video by saying I do not in any way or form glorify single motherhood. You know, your sugar, your spice, your ninja, your love, the spicy kind. Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's currently afternoon here. There is 1 p.m. Wait. It's 1 p.m. If you can hear noise, hopefully it won't be as loud as I can hear it. Number one, I've got my diffuser going and my hair purifier going behind me. Can you see that? and i've got my nieces here my neighbor's kids my children they're all downstairs and i'm literally a single mom of eight right now i kid you not i have eight children under my roof right now so <laughs> if you hear any noise apologies in advance so um i put a post up on snapchat had me on snapchat snapchat is the only place i am very 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 active and most things that doesn't even make it up onto here because youtube is a world wide web you know it's not everything you want to put on there you know so there are certain things that you know you just know it's gone within 24 hours and you ever screenshot it that's the home wahala so uh, can you hear the noise oh are we gonna be able to do this What can I do? One second, let me give them a warning. I'll be back. <sighs> right. <sighs> I just ran up and down, up and down, like four times. Yes, like I was saying, I'm so sorry, guys. See, this single parent who's life, you already seen it. I'm not even started, you already see. Um, but we move, right? Um, right. So I'm gonna start this video by saying I do not in any way or form glorify single motherhood. No, I'm not doing that. However, some of us find ourselves in it and there's nothing we can do. We just have to go on and live life. Right. So I have the questions on my, on my phone is from Snapchat. Some are very hazy and some are very... Ooh, hopefully i don't want this video to be too long in fact i don't even want it to be more than 10 minutes so i'm going to try and just speed um speak as fast as i can and speed up things so the first question says how many children do you have i have two boys um i have a 10 year old almost 11 and a five year old freshly five years old um how old are your children i just answered that what do you do for work i am an estate agent you can say that but on the side, I'm a property manager as well. So I do more of the property managing than actually being an estate agent. So basically, I'm a housing officer. That's my job. That's my job title, basically. Do you work full-time? Yes, I work two full-time jobs. Yes, and a side also. Mm -hmm. Where is your child's other parent? They're fine. <laughs> They're okay. Still for another day. How long were you together? Um, six years? Six, seven? Seven years. Seven years. How long were you together for? You have to answer that. Does he see your child, that children very often? Um, they used to regularly until they came up with the agreement about you know child care and then of course i didn't say right you said 50 50 parenting right so my holiday is coming um we're gonna do you know the six weeks 50 50 they were okay with it but as the time comes closer they became bitter do they pay child support no no they don't i'm not saying they're irresponsible but they don't pay anything no do I want to disturb to ask for anything though? No, because it will just be story. Um, so the next question is, do you struggle to pay for your child and your child? Do you struggle to pay for your child's needs? 
Um, to be honest, no, I don't. Both of them are fine, to be honest, and I'm fine as well, Abby. Do you have any financial struggles? Um, not to be an ungrateful cow. God has been faithful. And I cannot actually say, yeah, I struggle. Of course, there are days where I might just have £10. And there are days that we have £100. But both days, we're fine. We have, we always have food. We always have clothes. We, are, we always have shelter. Our bills are always paid. And we have small savings. So what's the struggle? So I thank God for that. Um, what's the next question? I've left the page. Oh, and you know, Snapchat can be funny. Okay, yeah. Um, this person said, why do you receive child support? If not, why don't you press to get child support? Um, it's, it's just unnecessary aggro, to be honest. Unnecessary. Like, it's not worth the headache. Like, I've jokingly said before that, oh, this child, child, hey, needs this. And if you can't provide it, I'm just going to call the government and, you know. And they said to me, well, I'm going to stop working. If I don't work, you can't get child support. Somebody that is willing to go to that extreme because of the, yeah, yeah, 100 power, 200 power. Is that the type of person I want to be arguing with? I beg you. Not being proud, but it's not worth the aggro. And when you find out that some, like, it took me a long time to realize I was dealing with a narcissist. There's a difference between a narcissist and a Nigerian Yoruba narcissist. See, when both come together, ha! When you're dealing with a Nigerian Yoruba narcissist, it's of a greater level than a regular narcissist. Like a regular narcissist is here. A Yoruba demon narcissist is dear or greater. Go like bang bang. So yeah, that's why it's it's not worth the headache. Um do I get any kind of assistant? Um, to be honest, in the past, not anymore. In the past, they say they would do their bits like drop the when they drop the child off, you know, drop them like new clothes and stuff like that. So that's fine. Um, aside from that, I don't ask for assistant and in their words, because you don't ask, that means you don't need so and we just leave with that. Do you get any emotional support from family and friends? Um, friends, I would not say friends because most of my friends don't really know anything about my life. They just, they listen to the side of their side and they've decided to believe whatever they say and I leave it like that. I'm not out here to clean any image for anybody. If you don't, if you're not feeding me, if you're not, you know, knocking me and if you're not financially responsible for me, I have nothing to prove to you. And that's that. And so yeah that's that so but do i get emotional support from family my family don't understand much i mean my sister's happily married my parents have been happily married for what almost 50 years now so they don't understand but i have lots of support groups that some have founded myself you know like we have a prayer work group where we don't usually see each other because everybody's scattered around the world but we would do an hour you know call on whatsapp mostly where we just talk you know anything that is bothering you just talk it's a non-judgmental zone everybody's free just talk what's 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 hurting you today you know we do that once especially this holiday now we're going to be doing it twice a week we're going to do it once one in the morning and one saturday morning and one is usually on monday evening so basically whatever has happened tuesday wednesday thursday friday gather it together let's discuss it saturday morning or if you can't finish it then we finish it off monday evening so that way everybody's able to just let off some steam because like a lot of us our parents don't understand our families don't understand they maybe they will help in saying okay right i need to quickly do something and you look after my kids but it's not all the time they can do that and you just have to understand so the support group that i'm in helps me with that like when i need to rant when i need to talk because 
because i'm not the type that talk a lot i don't know how to call my mom and be saying oh you did this or call my sister and be saying i don't know how to do it so the support group has actually helped me to just you know to talk whereas if my mom were to ask me what actually happened i'll bust out crying because i've bottled a lot in and then my parents don't believe in weakness nigerian mom so my mom just sees her why are you crying talk and then she'll say this this nigerian adage that oh person that cry and talk that means is is they're not genuine and it's not the case it's just that i'm hearing that he said this can we hear your side but i don't know how to comment so that group is very good you know they cannot just build builds that you know supernatural human being in you like yeah you know your sugar your spice your ninja your love the spicy kind no yama yama with all this mixed veg you know mm -hmm. so <laughs> right so let's get to the next question uh what happens can you describe a typical week in your life typical week in my life so a typical week in my life so i get up at 5 a.m you know start getting the kids you know stuff ready book bag water bottle da, 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 check everything i need to check um and then once i've checked that then but it will be around half six by then so then i get my eldest up the 10 year old because he gets picked up by school bus so the school bus arrives like around sometimes seven sometimes few minutes before seven sometimes seven thirty it depends on traffic but i know the latest they've arrived is seven thirty um so i get him up and then you know sometimes just have a quick word with him if he's done anything the night before if not just the typical go get ready blah 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 then they go get ready he can dress himself up everything and then he goes off with his boss by seven seven fifteen then i start with the little one then i get him up sometimes 7 30 sometimes eight o'clock depending what day it is or if we're going somewhere before i drop him off at 8 45 and then once i get him ready in the morning then we're all out of the house we're not back in until four i pick the little one around 8 30 and then i start making my way back home to wait for byron's bus by four o'clock and once the bus is back we come in, I start cooking dinner, then we eat dinner. We try to cook together and eat together so we can catch up. And then that's the little time we have. By the time we finish eating, wash uniform, do whatever, tidy, wash plates, everything, then it's time for bed. Then there's this Bible we like to read. It's our children's Bible. We read it together. We deal with own words. We do all of those. Before we even call her, her you know, it's already like 6 45 then they start showering everything all of those done by 7 p.m they are fast asleep so that gives me time to now start doing whatever i need to do so that's a typical day in my life i hope i'm not rambling on too much um what's the next question what is your biggest struggle with being a single mom <sighs> my biggest struggle with being a single mom is there are certain things i want to do but when i remember that oh gosh kids there's no partner to say right look after you know there's no partner to say right yeah you're gonna you know look after the kids while i like, do this then that kind of just stopped me most times but thank god for nannies god bless all nannies god bless all childminders god bless grandparents god bless family members that don't mind babysitting so um but the biggest struggle is that when i want to do certain things like i mean i'm meant i'm not even meant to be in kent right now i'm supposed to be across the pond but i couldn't be there because my nanny she's currently pregnant early stages and she's struggling so i said you know what it's fine i'll stay home i'll stay with my kids i literally took the whole six weeks holiday off so she can use that six weeks to regain whatever she needs to regain then she'll start work if she can you know she doesn't really do much she just stays with the children my children are very very independent so yeah that's the only struggle like certain things i want to do or let's say i want to quickly go get a bottle of milk i have to pack the kids in the car we all have to go so those are the struggles you know like you just want to rush out and do something quickly when you're a single mom you can't 
you gotta carry your baggage you see <laughs> and take them with you right the next question what has this experience taught you about yourself <sighs> the experience of being a single mom has taught me that i can achieve anything like I can be anything in the world and nothing can stop me. And thankfully, I've instilled that belief in my children as well. Like, they know that whatever they set their goals on, they can achieve it. How do you manage a work-life balance? There's no such thing as work-life balance because I don't. The only thing that works for me lately is being able to continue my work day once the kids are in bed that's why they go to bed very early sometimes by two minutes past seven they're fast asleep that's because they've settled in bed early most nights so that way i'm able to let's say i have reports i have anything that i need to type out and stuff like that i can just continue on you know on those stuff when they're in bed so that's the only way i can balance it do you think things will change when your children get older? Will things become easier or more difficult? So I currently have a 10 year old and to be honest, even though he has his own difficulties and needs and he's on the spectrum and all those things, and that's a lot harder, but God bless Byron. Byron, 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 Byron. Byron has made my life one million times better. Oh, my son, I can cry. That boy does a lot. As I'm cooking, he's there, he's washing up. As I'm cooking, he's washing up. He's dishing food. He can bath his brother. He can make a bar. He can make okra now. He's only red stew. I've not taught him. He can make pancakes. He can do everything. So most times when I'm in meeting, especially during the lockdown, I was very busy. I'll just say, Byron, can you make this for your brother? Can you do this for your brother? So my eldest son has made life easy. The little one is, I would say, makes me remember most times that, oh, yeah, I'm a single mom because he's not independent enough. He still needs mommy and daddy. And you can tell even when he talks, even though he's a very, very intelligent guy, but when he talks, you realize that, okay, yeah, this one still needs, you know, reminds me that, oh, gosh, I'm doing this alone. Right. So yeah, it does get easier as they get older. All right, so the next question say, can you picture yourself co-parenting in the future? I have never, never, ever said anything bad about these people with my children. To my children, they have the best father in the world. You know, they have the best my trouble with their father does not radiate over them because they don't need that i don't even believe in the word co-parenting if you're co-parenting with me and you're not having the child three and a half days a week oh boy we're not the co-parents what's the next question do you have any advice for single parent go for it anything you want to do go for it you know you know make yourself more valuable in whatever aspect of life you want to do advice that i can give is whatever you want to do go for it if you're currently working and you find yourself single better yourself ask questions about higher position and aim for that and because you're busy aiming for higher levels and higher position you don't have time anything that the other parent is doing you don't have time shame me that i threw myself into phd where did i want to have time to now be arguing with somebody when they say stuff and i don't talk the only time that i will say one thing is the word they will now hold oh she's an evil woman she's a crazy black woman she's a crazy this she's crazy this you know i don't even talk and i still get all those labels so yeah What's the next question? How do you deal with the stigmatization of being a single mom? Oh, the stigma. Ugh. The stigma. Yeah. To be honest, the stigma of being a single mom, you it's always the women that gets blamed first. But you only care about the stigma of being a single mom if you care what other people say. It's not a day task to not care what people say about you it's a task that takes a long time to master but once you master that then you understand that 
there's nothing anybody will say that will affect you because you know yourself you understand yourself you know you know the level you're at you know the level you're aiming for then that way you're fine to be honest you're fine and there's nothing anybody can say i didn't pull myself there i didn't nobody wakes up and say yeah uh, when i grow up i want to be a single mom no just live your life they're not in your house you know of course don't don't go around and be collecting other people's husbands they're not the one that put you in your situation or don't make other people cry I beg, I beg, I beg. it's not worth it you know just you just live with it and before you know it 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 just doesn't bother you again did they burn you with stigma uh -huh. so why would you let the stigma bothers you so it was the next question are you currently dating Okay, there's difference between dating and relationship, right? Am I dating? Yes, I do date. I date. I, I go on dates with my friends. Is that not dating? So, yeah, I am dating. I am not in a relationship. I just can't see myself being in a relationship right now. To be honest, I want to build more relationship with God. Like, I want to get closer with God. I, you know, I'm at this stage where spiritually i'm i feel like i'm inclined spiritually with christ and i just want to continue i just want to build more relationship with christ so anything sexually and stuff like that i try to avoid it as much as i can and of course i'm human being if i should fall then is he who was in the bible that never committed the same sin twice yeah i try to i aspire to be like them so i don't do the same thing twice <laughs> that was <laughs> that sounds so wrong i just don't have a relationship and that's because i don't want one yeah and I, I don't get involved in unnecessary entanglements in fact i don't get involved in entanglements there's no need for it so yeah <sighs> right what other questions do you introduce your partner to your kids no nobody knows my children you don't even need to meet. What are you even looking for in my house? There's lots of Airbnb. I will go a day early and make it look homey if I have to. What are you looking for in my house? What am I looking for in your house? Sin will happen that way. I'm not a saint. But no, um, to be honest, nobody meets my children. Nobody. Nobody at all. And that's that. Right. Oh, something is flashing. Sorry about that. I had a quick break in transmission. Right. So the next question. Oh, this is from my friend. She said, I know you've spoken a lot about not being in a relationship, but do you ever see yourself remarrying? And how do you cope with dating and being a single mom? Um, okay, the first one, do I see myself in my remarrying? Of course. Do I have potentials? Yes. At the moment, I date with purpose. I don't date for the sake of dating, you know. I'm not one of those that just want to date because he needs to get his dick wet. No. Um, I'm not on that. Um, even though I look like he, you know that saying, you like looking like a tiger but can't hunt? That's me. You know, I have this very vibrant personality. I'm very... When I'm amongst my peers, I can be very loud, obnoxious, talk without filter and everything but deep down when it comes to me by myself and i'm on my knees with my god uh -huh, god knows and i know and nobody else needs to know see me and that man up there we understand each other and that's 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 all that matters that's all that matters so the next question oh do i see myself getting married oh of course i date with purpose that's it do you want to date there's different between dating and relationship i keep saying of course um yeah dating with purpose 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 for dating how do you cope with raising boys as a single mom to be honest god god is that father that is there every day so when i come across situations that i find a bit too hard i go on my knees and i say god what you put in your hands does not get missing or lost. This is this person. I'm putting them in your hand. Father, father to the fatherless. Husband to the husbandless. Come and take over. <laughs> Next question. Do you believe in a parent saying I'm their mom and dad? That's no. 
no i don't believe in that did i make the children by myself no okay you might be a sole provider that's fine if you can afford it continue providing for your children but don't forget to live all in between live your life your children will be okay if your children's school are doing training master class everything pay for your children to go it's worth it keep your children busy when your children are busy when they get home they're tired they don't have time to be asking for daddy hey uh -huh. so <laughs> that's the trick so right i think that's enough question i still have a cup i still have a question that came in now let me see if i can answer that <sighs> right i'm just gonna do a few more i feel like this video is long for no reason now what's your take on dating married men it's a no-no it says what do you do for fun as a single mom um everything i do that is fun i take my children along um i don't have a lot there's only two of them and i stay at what i can afford so we travel a lot a lot we go on holidays a lot that's that thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all your questions like i can't do this without you guys i i appreciate and i love you all